Hey guys, Charles from Gibby's Electronics Supermarket here. Welcome to our two minute tutorial. Today we're gonna to be talking about QLED and OLED TVs, what the differences are, and which one is right for you. Let's dive right into it. Is that good? It's great. Johnny, come on, man. <laughs> no, show, it was. It show was some funny. interest. <laughs> so, QLED versus OLED, which one's better? Totally depends on your situation. If you've got a bright room with lots of light and even some sunlight coming in, you're probably better off with the QLED versus the OLED, you're probably better off in, you know, this sort of situation where you've got a home theater setup and pretty much everything is gonna be blacked out. Why do I say that? The OLEDs have individually lit pixels, meaning they can shut off completely, giving you deeper blacks and your shadows are gonna be a lot more crisper versus your QLED, they thrive in brightness. So if you've got a living room with some light coming in from the sun or even some pot lights, they'll thrive off of that because they'll be able to outshine the OLEDs entirely. Your QLEDs have about 2,000 nits and your OLEDs have about 1,000. What does that basically mean? In layman's terms, it just means your QLEDs are brighter. Now, there is one downside to each and every one of these guys. No, God, please, no, no, no! With the OLEDs, you're gonna get a little bit of a wider angle. Why is that? It's just because that the light is closer to the front of the TV. Versus the QLEDs, you're gonna have a little bit more difficulty with that. Since their lighting is actually a separate unit, you either have to sit kind of directly in front of it or just off to the side. If you sit too far off, you might not be able to see the picture and it might distort the images a little bit. So with the OLED TVs, there's one thing you gotta be careful of and that's burn-ins. You ever watch TV and see the channel's logo either in the bottom left or the bottom right corner? Yeah, if you leave that on for too long, for extended periods of time, it might actually burn into the screen, meaning it'll be visible. And this can also apply to gaming as well. With your crosshairs, if you play for extended periods of time, they might burn into the screen as well. Now, with the latest tech, you won't have to worry about that burn-in effect as much. A lot of the TVs come with a screensaver mode or even filters that can help prevent that. You're probably asking yourself now, which one is the best one for me? Well, when you go out to buy your TV, really think about how much light you're gonna be exposing the TV to or whether it's gonna be in complete darkness or not. You could do a shameless plug. <clears throat> okay. So when you're out buying your TV at Gibby's, plug, whether it's QLED or OLED, keep all those things in mind. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comment section below. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell to stay notified of all of our great content. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Brought to you by KFC. Yeah. I want KFC now. <laughs>